Let's begin looking at finding the sums of geometric series now. So our first example, we're going to start deriving the formula. I don't want to just give you the formula and tell you to start plugging it in. I'd like you to kind of understand where it's coming from. So you see we have a series here. This series has six terms. We're adding 2 plus 10 plus 50 plus 250, 1,250, and 6,250. Yes, I know it would be easy just to take a calculator and type those all in there. Okay, I made these examples smaller so that you could actually go back and kind of check to make sure that the answers are correct. Okay, I'll even tell you that the answer here when I add these all together, the sum of those six terms when you type them into the calculator there is going to equal 7,812. Okay, so you can get that out of your system there. Um, yes, we can just add them together, but I want you to see where the formula is going to come from for adding them together when we have much bigger series and you don't want to type them into the calculator. So here we go. First thing you're going to do here when you identify your series, we know all the terms in the series here. Okay, um, right now here, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply the entire series by R. So the first thing you need to do is identify what R is. And you can tell here that right, if I take any two terms and I take the term and put it over the, the preceding term there, it's gonna give me my geometric ratio. So 10 divided by two is five. So five is equal to our R or our M if you're thinking about it as a multiplier, okay? So we're gonna take this entire equation that we've got here and we're gonna multiply it times R. So I'm gonna multiply both sides of this equation by five. So what do I get here? Well, I'm gonna get five times the sum of the first six terms is going to equal, and if I take this five here, I'm gonna distribute it through, I'm gonna multiply it times each of these terms, okay? So all the way across there. So two times five gives me 10. So 10 times five gives me 50. 50 times five is 250, and hopefully you're seeing here that it's just giving us the next term each time we do it, right? Because our multiplier is five. So in the end here, right, once I do this last one, the 6,250 times five, I should end up with 31,250. Now, if you need a calculator, you'll probably need one for a lot of the other problems in this lesson. So please take the time to go get it real quick if you don't have it with you. Okay, our second step here is we're going to take this and we're going to subtract the original series. We did a lot of manipulation in one of those previous lessons there where we added series together and did different things like that. So we're going to subtract the original series from this new one that we have. That means here that I'm going to take it and I'm going to subtract the entire sum of the first six terms of this series. So I have minus, we have you know, the sum of the first six terms. So that means we're putting our two back in, plus 10, plus 50, plus 250, plus 1,250, plus 6,250. Okay, so we're gonna subtract all of that from that new one that we have when we multiplied it by five. So starting over here on this side, right, if I have five S minus one S, what do I end up with? Well, I should end up with four S or four times the sum of the first six terms. Now, as I'm going through and trying to do my multiple, or I'm sorry, my subtraction in this next part here, right? Let's pay attention to what they have in common, right? Instead of doing 10 minus the two, why don't I just do 10 minus the 10? And 50 minus the 50, 250 minus the 250, right? All of these terms match between both of those series there. So if I do that subtraction there, right? The 10s cancel, the 50s cancel, the 250s cancel, all the way across to here. What are we left with? Well, we're left with 31,250 minus two. So we'll write that in here. We have 31,250 minus two. Now I could go ahead and subtract that there, but I'm gonna not subtract it yet just for um, 
the reason I'm, you will have to come back and look at this and see why I didn't here in a moment. So to get the sum of the first six terms, right now we have four times it, right? So we're going to have to divide each side by four. So the sum of the first six terms should equal 31,250 minus two divided by four. Remember, I'm, the only reason I didn't subtract those there is because I want you to see where those are coming from here in a moment when we're actually looking at the formula. But you can go ahead and finish calculating that on the calculator. We have 31,248 divided by 4 should end up equaling the 7,812, which I already told you was the answer, but now you can kind of see where it comes from. All right, so... Let's move on to a second one here. Just want to have a couple examples for us to refer back to. Okay, this one's nice and small as well. I'll even tell you here that the sum of these first four terms, 9 plus 27 plus 81 plus 243, the sum of those first four terms will equal 360. Okay, but let's just take a look here at remembering the process. So step one, multiply times r. And we'll actually write down step two. Remember, we're going to subtract the original series. So if I take this here and we think about what is our R, first of all? Well, you know, as we're going across, we've got nine times what is 27? Well, that's three, right? And then we're going to multiply 27 times three and then 81 times three to get all the way across there. So we're gonna multiply both sides of this equation times three. So we're left with three times the sum of the first four terms equals nine times three is 27. 27 times three is 81. 81 times three is 243. And then 243 times 3 is going to be 729. Okay, now back to the step 2, right? Subtract the original series. So we're going to say minus the whole entire original series here, which would be the sum of the first four terms. You can just recopy it from above. And you'll see again here, right? We have a lot of terms that match up again. 27 minus the 27 would give us zero. 81 minus 81 would give us zero. 243 minus 243 would give us zero. So again, we're left with this, like what we'll call like the next term here, minus this first term. So we've got 729 minus nine left on this side. Over here, we had three times the sum of the first four terms minus one set of that would give us two times the sum of the first four terms. And then to get the sum of the first four terms isolated here, we have twice as many as what we need. We need to divide everything by two. So the sum of the first four terms is going to equal, right now we've got 729 minus nine divided by two. So that would be 720 divided by 2, which was 360. Okay, so I already told you that answer was what it was up above, but now we're hopefully starting to see it. Now, before we move into that next part here, where we're going to look at when we don't know the number of terms, let's just kind of look at something here. Okay, you'll see in each of these, let me get a color that stands out, right? We had this extra number that stuck out up here, right? Notice that number is not in the series. It would be like the next term in either of these series, right? If we extended those series beyond to the next terms. So that number ends up being part of this expression that we get, right? I always refer to this as the next term. Now, you will also see they're subtracting something here. They're subtracting this number here, which is the first term right? Subtracting 9, which is the first term. So we are subtracting, we're going next term minus the first term, and then we're dividing on each of them there. Oops, I forgot my uh, highlighted there. Okay, so then we're, then we're going to divide it by something. Well, what do you notice here about 
this number compared to this number up here, which was your multiplier. And we have this number here compared to this number here. Okay, so it has something to do with the multiplier there. And we'll look at it here a little bit more in the next problems. I'm going to stop the video and start the next one in a new video. So if I screw up, I don't have to redo it. <laughs> Go me. All right. So see you in the next part.